Good morning, good morning, folks. Yes, good morning. It's Lloyd's Live again, um, and we are here in the quarter for a very good reason this time. And um, it's nice to see that families can carry on business. It's called, it's called continuation. And today, we know this bakery has been around for many, many years. Um, we know after the hurricane, and other stuff, it got damaged. Like other stuff, other businesses got damaged. But today, it's back with a vengeance, a beautiful vengeance. You're gonna be astounded when you see what is being offered on the inside, how it has been re-established. Re, um, and today, as you can see, that um, there's a brand new opening, a brand new date for Mary's Bakery, and we have form of a celebration here today. Good morning everyone. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Rogers family to welcome everyone here this morning. We know that it has been quite a while that the renovations have been going on and we'd like to thank our valued customers for their patience during this period. Quite a bit of work has gone into what we have to present today so we thank you again. At this time I would like to begin by having Pastor Gareth Hodge begin the with the opening prayer and blessing. In Psalm 127 it says, Unless the Lord builds a house, the labor and vain will build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman wakes, but in vain. It continues to talk about the blessings upon the family, the children, our heritage of the Lord. And having the pleasure to know both Mary Atkin, who we know as Mary Atkin, and also Mr. Clifford Rogers. And now we see the business passed down to the family. And the businesses, communities, are built on families and today we want to thank God for the cohesiveness of this family and the fact that they're still together and carrying on the gift that Mary had in baking bread. So we're going to say a special prayer for the family, for the business, for the legacy that is continuing here today. We can remain seated, seated let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today, Lord, for your blessings upon the Rogers family. We pray, Lord, today that your name continues to be glorified as this family was established and built on the foundation of your word and also the business, taking literally the bread of life and the making, giving bread to feed the nation. We thank you, Lord, for what has been accomplished here over the years. And we thank you, Lord, that in your mercy, you have blessed this family. Father, we know this family has gone through many challenges. Many, many, many challenges, Lord, in terms of health. And we thank you, Lord, that today, they are walking in your blessings in spite of the adversities. Thank you, Lord, they are focused on the positive and focused on serving and acknowledging you. And even today, we could have had this service, this opening without acknowledging you. But we thank you, Lord, that they have chosen to invoke your presence. Because of this, Lord, we say thanks. At this time, we ask your continued blessings and help upon all the extended members of the Rogers family, all the cousins, nephews, nieces, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren today who are poised to carry on this business. We thank you, Lord, that in the midst of all kind of economic downturns and even a pandemic, that this business, Mary's Bakery, is still here. And we thank you, Lord, that you will cause it to continue to flourish despite whatever time we may find ourselves. We bless the managers, we bless the staff, we bless 
all the patrons, all the customers. And we Lord, we know, we know that there are customers who have been loyal to this place for 10, 15, 20, 30 years and have just been patient while the construction was going on. And we thank you for them. And it's people like these that we build upon. We pray, Lord, for the entire island nation today, our, our spiritual leadership and our political leadership, that they, O oh Lord, will look to you for guidance. And you will continue to bless this nation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So today, Father, once again, we thank you for your blessings already. We acknowledge your blessings. We acknowledge your presence. We pray for your safekeeping in terms of the entire operation and dealing with, with very dangerous situations in here. We pray again for the family, Lord, that will continue to walk in the steps that have been laid out before them. You'll bless this business. It will go from strength to strength, and it will be a success story when the history books of Anguilla continue to be written. Bless the business, Lord. Bless the family. Bless us all together as we thank and we praise you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Hodge. Much appreciated. At this time, we will move right along with Mrs. Simon representing the Adventist Church. Thank you, Simon. Good morning to all. Good morning. James 1.17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness or shadow of turning. We realize this morning that indeed God is awesome. There's a friend of mine who says he's better than good. Actually, the Bible says he's excellent. And so everything that comes from him is indeed excellent it's good and it's perfect and when we look at this edifice here this business this renovated business we see that it's excellent actually someone commented wow it's the best bakery on island right now and so we want to say thank god thank god for making this a reality this morning the opening of this renovated bakery that is here to supply our needs to supply our um, hungering pants and also to provide employment for others let us pray our father in heaven in the name of jesus we come before you right now giving praise and gratitude for what you have allowed we know that you are indeed a great mighty God who provides for your people and you have shown and made it very evident by what you have done here. So we want to thank you dear Lord for what you have done, how you have guided the Rajas family, how you have provided for them and how you have made them dear Lord a source of provision for their community and for those in need. We want to ask you, dear Father, to continue to bless them. We want to ask you to lay your hands upon them and continue to grant them wisdom so that they will be able to make the choices that is best so that this business can continue to flourish and be a standing light in the community of those who serve you and do their best. We ask you, dear Father, to protect the building from all negative influences be it natural or otherwise we ask you to be with the workers we ask you for unity to reign among them and for them to produce their best as you the great god of the universe provides the best for them may they understand that in turn they must provide their best we ask you dear father to continue to be with all of us as customers May we too be blessed so that we too can support them and encourage others to do their best as well. We thank you, we praise you, we magnify your name for what you have done with them in the past, what you're doing right now, and what you will do, dear Father, in the future. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you very much, Mrs. Simon. There were three people in particular who have been very instrumental in helping the business's current status to be realized. That is my aunt, Cheryl, Frank Cheryl Franklin, my uncle, Foster Rogers, and my cousin, Sheldon. Both have worked tirelessly to ensure that the bakery is to the stage it is at today. At this time, I would like to ask Auntie Cheryl to come to give her brief remarks. Thank you, Celia. <coughs> Welcome to all who are here. Thank you for coming. You have come to assist in helping us to keep the legacy of our mother alive. We thank God for his benevolence for the 53 years, the dream and legacy of a woman of love and courage. Here with us today are some people who were instrumental in helping mommy when she started the bakery, especially her good friend and family, Mrs. Octavia Leake. Mrs. Leake. Mommy isn't here today, but the strength of this bakery started with a bag of flour being delivered to the bakery by Bommy. <laughs> she always, Mrs. Lake always made sure that Bommy would carry the bag of flour there in addition to the other things that he did to help Mommy. So Mommy started with half a bag of flour every night. She would start at midnight and continue. After some years, Roy went to St. Thomas, and Roy sent her a commercial oven and the very first mixer that she had. She needed a bag of flour every day, and she said when the mixer came, she felt as though she had won a million dollars because she thought her shoulder would break at the fourth of kneading, kneading all that bread. I'd like to say thank you, thank you to some key people who are, who are not here, but also assisted her, Adelina and Nettie. Yes. They kept her going, kept her going all those years. After she passed, after she passed, the children continued her legacy, each one doing their part and keeping the dream alive. When Roy passed, I felt that we had lo lost a key person in assisting and keeping this, the structure of the building alive. But Roy has a son. His name is Sheldon Leroy Rogers. And this edifice is here today. With the dream that Roy had had, he would say, it's the young people that got to carry it on. And so today, you are here to see Sheldon Dream. He's a man who loves to see things done beautifully, perfectly. And although we went through a struggle for a year and a half, Sheldon stuck with it, and the bakery is now complete. It was a struggle. We had to redo just about all of the structure. But we give God thanks for his mercies and we also would like to thank the National Commercial Bank of Anguilla, who has helped us through to the end. Someone was supposed to be here, but haven't seen them yet. And all the merchants who assisted us, Lake Do It Best. There's so many people, I don't want to continue to call names, but the customers who continue to come under a tent for all this time to buy their bread tells us that Mary started a good thing and we are here to continue. I'd like to say a special thank you to the staff, the staff of Mary's Bakery. When I came back from Canada, I couldn't believe the conditions under which they were working. When Foster showed me the building, I went home and I slept for five hours, I was so depressed. But these staff who stuck with us in that tent and in the hot conditions back there, 
I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Some people left us, but the strong and the steady ones stayed with us, and today we are here. I know the remarks are supposed to be brief, so I will not keep you here in the sun, but on a personal note, I would like to say a very special thank you to my husband, Stephen, who allowed me to come from Canada for the past 18 years to be here to keep this bakery going. And he would always say, Cheryl, you promised mommy that when, she, when you retired, you would come to help her. She died suddenly. You have to continue that promise. And Stephen, I'd like to thank you. And so, thanks again, and have a good day, enjoy, and I hope you will continue to support me. She believed in the community, and there are so many people who come by and tell me they never went to school hungry one day. She always gave them a bread, a drink, and many of them never paid her. But the bakery has received all the blessings. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Auntie Cheryl. Uncle Fasta. Thank you very much, Shalia. Good morning, everyone. Normally, when people see me on TV now, they think I'm discussing another topic, but that shall remain nameless today. <laughs> because today is a time for joy. I'm not sure I'm going to make it through this little speech I have to make. When I saw Mrs. Lake this morning, so many emotions came back. Of her and mommy. And the sun does we suspend down by her home. And I can still hear the laughter <laughs> on the porch. Mom and Mrs. Lake on the Sunday afternoons. Mrs. Lake, I want to thank you for the support. I want to thank the entire family for, for the support. One of my first memories of Bummy was on his knees tiling that place down there. Um, we went a little place from Evadne Ray before we got here. And as a young chap, I probably about 10, 11 years old, can't remember. One of my first memories of Bummy was on his knees tiling that place for us. I don't remember that. So the families have always been intertwined. And I don't think we'd be, we'd be out today without the Lakes family. So I want to thank Mrs. Lake and Mr. Lake in particular. In fact, the piece of land we have here, people may not know, but we have to say these things because people feel that when you have a business, you have everything in the world. But they don't know the sacrifices that you make to get where you are and how difficult it is to keep a business. The very piece of land we have this bakery constructed on is a piece of land that was given to us by Mr. Lake. In fact, initially, we were supposed to swap a piece of land with him for this in Shoal Bay. And then he decided, do not, he will not take the land, he'll give the land in Shoal Bay to Rosemary. So Mrs. Lake, I'm Mr. Lake, who is now dear past. We want to thank you so much for the support. We want to thank you so much for the love and the care because we could not be here today without you all. When Roy passed, we, we thought we had lost the contract and the family, but then Sheldon stepped up. Sheldon's more than, a, more than a nephew. He's almost like a brother to me. I'm not much older than him. In fact, I'm, I, I look younger than him. <laughs> <laughs> but we grew up together. <laughs> We grew up together, almost like brothers. So I want to thank him so much for his hands and his mind and his commitment. When, when we only decided last year to take off, the roof was real bad. 
the roof was real, real bad last year. And really and truly, it was the first new bakery that my brother, mother built since we were a child. And it was, this section was built in the early 80s when, you know, construction in Angola was real bad. They used the salt sand and all kind of stuff. So the roof was falling in. So we took the opportunity when we closed down to change the roof. But when we knock off the roof, we realize everything was bad. The walls, the roof, the columns, the foundation. So we had to go all the way down. So that's, that's why it took so long to come back. But Sheldon, on his own, before we had financing from the bank, ordered all the material from China, and they were delivered here even before we were ready to do the work, on his own. That is a commitment, and that is the type of love that we have for each other. And I want to thank him so much for what he's done. And I think his father, Roy, will be proud. He's a little jealous that he wouldn't be able to do it, <laughs> but he'll be proud of what Shalom has done. And when you go inside, you're going to see the level of detail and attention, attention that Shalom has put. So to everybody, I want to say thanks to the staff, to the people of Angola, and everybody who's worked with us. I want to say thank you so much for the commitment. God bless Angola. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Uncle Foster. Um, and I would just like persons to know that if you are interested in learning um, or finding out more or utilizing Sheldon's services, Sheldon runs his own company and business as well. And he does great work in interior design, decorating. So please give Sheldon a call as he runs his own business as well. Okay, his number is, yes, Lloyd, I need to get his number. 584 Yes. Okay, okay, okay. okay, guys, so thank you again for all coming here today. Um, it, has, it has been a pleasure to have all of you. Everyone who is here today is very, very special to us. It's very heartwarming to see all of the Lakes family here. We thank you guys for your continued support and encouragement. And again, Mary's Bakery is officially open. We're now going to have the cutting of the ribbon by my aunt, Rosemary. I'd also like to acknowledge my aunts and uncles who are overseas, who are not here today, but they are listening via live. Hazel Harrigan, who everyone knows as Auntie Shaw, um, Glenn Rogers, and Vaughn Rogers, who everyone knows as Rado. Um, thank you guys again for your support and encouragement, and of course, my aunt Volin as well. So again, thank you to everyone who is not here present today as well. Um, and now we will have the cutting of the ribbon and then the live will have a quick tour. Okay, thank you all. Lloyd, we will have the... Lloyd, we're going to have the closing prayer at this time by Pastor Hugo. Can we bow our heads? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise and glory and honor. We thank you because we recognize you as a good and a mighty God. And even as your words say that many are the plans of a man's heart, but Heavenly Father, you are the one that directs it all. As we come to the end of this ceremony, we give you thanks, Lord, for your provision, for your blessing, and all, Heavenly Father, which have been accomplished it, Lord, we commit it in your hands, and we pray continually for the blessing of this business, that Heavenly Father, that it will be prosperous, and we pray that you will continue to provide according to your riches and glory. So, Father, we give you the thanks and the praise and the glory in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen and amen. amen. Can we say our Father's prayer? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debtors, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Yes, folks, we have had a closing prayer by Pastor Brooks, but now we will have the cutting.
of the ribbon to officially open Mary's Bakery, which we were told that um, Bummy Remington Lee, he brought the first bag of flour some 50 years ago. <laughs> So we have Rosemary, who everybody knows Rosemary, a very affectionate young lady, um, who's wheelchair bound, and um, what she's going to do, she is going to. Um, so we're waiting now for ribbon. Here goes Rosemary. Well, you always in history, boy. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For all the good reasons. Well, tell me, what's your impression when you saw inside? When I saw it last night, before last night, mm -hmm. I, I was shocked. I thought, what, what's going on here? Because I passed up and down and didn't realize that um, I got accustomed to the tent in the back. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden it was like revolution, like a, a miracle, like it just appeared. You yeah. know? And, and I'm really impressed. Yesterday, I actually went to the old tent in the back. And someone said, no, they're in the front now. And when I went inside, um, I actually, you know, even the entrance is so beautiful. Oh, you yeah. know, you walk and the door opens for you. And it, when I went inside, I thought I was in a subway. Subway, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, that is so beautiful. Like I said, when I passed the, the night before and saw the light up and I said, well, where is this? I mean, this is a new new operation. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize it was Mary's Bakery. Right. And I'm, I'm glad to see the, the, the legacy move going on, the kids and the grandkids and everybody functioning yes. and, and, and keeping going. That is how you get success when you have continuation yeah. in the family. And, 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 um, and you know, it's, it's very important that the children, um, you know, have interest in the family's business. Because yeah. that is the only way you can survive. I remark all the time. You see a lot of houses in Anguilla mm -hmm. where families have gone away and died and the kids just don't care about the business. The house fall apart. And it's good to see some recovery efforts on this and, and, and it's it leading by example. Yes, very much so. No. Let me just get Garrett's word um, first. Garrett? Gary. Um, Tell me how you feel about, about, about this accomplishment. Well, I'm extremely pleased. I know when the building was built, mm -hmm. I, mean, I was going to high school that operated down the, down the road in a rented building. And uh, as the business kept growing, the building kept getting this deteriorating as for the age. So it needed to be done. And we thank God it's done and completed. Inside is very beautiful, professional, and it's only going to enhance the entire operation. Pray God's continued blessings upon the family. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm truly impressed. And as I told Roland earlier, that um, it's important for the children and the family to, for the business to succeed, it must have generational success. Correct. That's a very key point there. Yes. So um, I think just now I'm going to give the, the viewing public a tour of, of this magnificent modern um, of the upgraded building. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's very important. And um, we have to give them a lot of credit for such a beautiful job that has um, taken place. Yes. 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 Okay, so, alrighty. Alright, folks. Um, we're gonna go.
photos and uh, in a moment we will give you a tour of what it is. and there's an exit. Uh, this is the entrance on the western side of the building and it's an automatic door that opens. Um, for this morning only the system has been taken off to, be, to remain open to facilitate what we are doing here now. Yes, yes. yes. So um, we have a granddaughter of of um, Mary, and she's going to give us a guided tour of the new renovated Mary's Bakery. Good morning, Shelia. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Lloyd. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. I would just like person to note that we do have a few things that we're still working on throughout the space, but I would love to give you an opportunity to see some essential areas of the space. Right as you enter the door, if you turn left, you'll go into the area that houses the tea area and we also have the refrigerator area section as well. So cool refreshments and hot beverages. Yes. This is our restroom wow, area. This, this is impressive. We have a female and a male bathroom area. Wow. In true COVID form, Lloyd, everything is touchless. Yes. So everything in here is um, touchless. Wow. You don't have to touch anything. The toilet as well, flushing oh automatically. God. So in true public form, we are ensuring. Here again, handless, so you don't have to touch anything. I mean, just come in, use the, the bathroom, oh and you can do that is, that is modern. And we have, again, Sheldon, we have also replicated the same in the male bathroom. So right. we do have this space here. We also have a little waiting chair just in case anybody is waiting yeah. as well. So this is our bathroom space area. Wow, that's, okay. I'm, I'm impressed already. Thank you so much. <laughs> as you come back oh, out, yeah. we have our secondary cooler as well, with drinks here as well. We have our pastry wow. area here. This is beautiful. That is, um, that is displayed. Um, I know years ago in the past, Lloyd, we used to have croissants and lots of different pastries. And my aunt is really working very hard to ensure that we um, find a supplier to bring back in some of those essential pastries that people love um, and admire. But as you enter Lloyd, the first thing that's very important for people to know is that as you enter, this area right here is the area that you place order. your order in. Yes. Um, once your order is placed, Lloyd, uh, if it's a sandwich order, they will immediately start to make the sandwich, so you can make your way down. As you can see, everything is happening wow, right, look right at that. in front of you. Um, so you can see whatever it is that you want. You can see your sandwich being made in real time, um, which is something that we really wanted. Um, and as you see, you can make your own sandwich. Wow. Because so you, just you just say essentially whatever you want, yes. and they will provide you with the same, okay? This is so cool. In addition to this, Lloyd, we also have... Um, chicken, we have hot dogs, we have boiled eggs, we have a number of patties, pastries, meats, cakes, bread, we have our rotis, which is really, really popular on a daily basis, our rotis sell out. Um, so again, very, very happy. So all of the essential things that we would have had in the past, we're bringing them back. We're going to be running weekly specials, Lloyd, every week. So once you, 
once your sandwich is being made, you wait in the area for the sandwich to be made, and then you take your ticket to the cashier and you pay at the end. And once you pay, you exit up Ex top yes. um, as well. So as you can see, bakery is very much full of people. We have some refreshments and snacks for um, our visitors, family members who are here um, and enjoying the space with us. So again, Lloyd, we just want to thank all of our well-wishers, supporters for being here and supporting us. Um, we really, really appreciate it. So again, thank you guys for coming and see us. Um, please be patient as we walk to continue to upgrade the business in different ways. Throughout the rest of the month, we're going to be walking to, to get everything up and clean. Our hands, our stationary hand sanitizers have been ordered. So within the next week, you're going to see them placed all around the, the space. So again, I just want to thank family members, the staff, the family, the staff, and everyone for all of the hard work that went into creating what you see here today, Lloyd. So thank you again um, for coming and we wish everyone well. Any questions or anything, Lloyd? Yes, what are your operating hours? Are? Our operating hours are from 5.30 in the morning to 8 p.m. at night. And the days of the week are? And the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and Sunday. Okay. On a Friday, we close at 4 p.m. Because um, as you know, Lloyd, our family is traditionally Adventist. Yes. So we close at 4 p.m. on a Friday and uh, Saturday we're closed. But then we reopen on Sunday morning from uh, 6 to 12. I know that if you go in a lot of the supermarkets, you find uh, Mary's Bakery bread yes. and lots of stalls. Yes, all of the major supermarkets on the island carries Mary's Bakery bread, Albert Lake, Proctor's, Best Buy. Uh, we also are serviced by most of the major Chinese rest, uh, Chinese uh, supermarkets across the island as well. Um, we also have smaller little uh, mini stores across the island that all, also carries Mary's Bakery bread. And of course, we sell bread directly um, at the storefront as well. And I love the Johnny Cakes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much, Lloyd. Yes. Thank you. My children, they have the sliced bread, and I have the Johnny Cakes. Thank you, thank you. And we appreciate um, your support as well, Lloyd. You know, we know that you're a long-standing customer as well, yes. so we appreciate you being able to, to be here and to cover this live for us today as well. I've been a customer for Mary of uh, Mary herself, right? Mm -hmm. When she was a photographer. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's incredibly long. <laughs> incredibly long. Most, the average person listening to the live might not even know that she was a photographer. So you took us way back, Lloyd. So again, thank yes. you guys so much, those who have been, continue to be loyal to us, and we hope that you continue to exercise your patience as we ready the bakery for you. Okay? Great. Folks, All right, thank you. Um, as Shelia said, we are here at Mary's Bakery. Um, new and improved. Um, you make it, you say what sandwich you want, and it's done in front of you. Um, as you can see here now, um, this sandwich is being prepared from scratch. So it's a, chi a chicken sandwich. As you can see, everything is done in real time. Tomatoes. You're welcome. And lettuce. And here you go, folks. Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Is that easy? So. Rosemary, I got you on. Uh, no, you feel happy today, right? You feel happy about today, right? All right. Yes, folks. My special girlfriend. <laughs>
This is beautiful. Yes, it's a joy to be here. Yes. It's a joy to have this grand opening. We are so happy that we can be here to serve the people and make them happy as well. Great. Our customers is our first priority to make them happy and to ensure that they are able to return. So we always want to welcome back our returns. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. All right. I love that. Yes. How are you? All right, folks. Um, again, from Mary's Bakery here in the, in, in the quarter um, where it has been officially opened and blessed. We say thank you. And be that's my bigger brother, there, Stanley, and his son. So we are saying we are signing out again. Um, I've known Mary's Bakery for a very long time, and to see what it is today being so modern it's really a joy to see this new establishment real re renovated establishment here in Angola again with that uh, we're gonna say we are out thanks for viewing thanks for sharing and thanks for being there we're out Alright folks, that's it from us here at Mirrors Bakery in the Quarter and Quilla.